Welcome everyone to Nikki Loves Books. I'm of course Nikki and today we do have a book review and that is The Depths by Nicole Lesperance. And this book was the Owl Crate book for last month so that was September 2022. Your cover's probably going to look different than mine because again this is an Owl Crate exclusive edition and I must say I'm actually really happy to have gotten this edition of the book because I think the normal one, the cover has bugs on it and I'm just like, no, no thank you. I don't like, don't like it all. I'm just not down for bugs on my book covers or practically anywhere. Just don't like them. But anyway, if you are ever interested in what Owl Crate has, do you know I do Owl Crate unboxing videos and the unboxing video for the September 2022 Owl Crate box is linked in the description below. So The Depths is my first spooky book of this Halloween season and I'm so excited to tell you guys about it. So I did give The Depths 7 out of 10 stars. So it is safe to say that I did enjoy this book. I did read it fairly quickly and we're going to go ahead and talk about the 7 things that I enjoyed about The Depths. But first, we're going to go ahead and talk about what is The Depths actually about. So The Depths is a young adult horror story. Probably couldn't tell that it's a horror story from this cover. It is okay. I was very thrown off as well when I started reading this one because I was just like, wait, what is this about? As always, do remember that my book reviews are non-spoilers, so they are entirely spoiler free. Anything I do reveal, especially when it comes to the summary, is stuff that you should be able to find out from reading the back of a book or the flap of it. Everything else I mentioned in my book review will be pretty vague and general, so it shouldn't give away anything about the plot. After a tragic accident that caused her brief death, our main character, Addie, is now forced to accompany her mom and new stepdad on their honeymoon. Two weeks on a deserted island, Especially with these people, it's not Addie's idea of fun. The island appears beautiful and serene, an absolute perfect paradise, but Addie seems uneasy and feels like something or someone is watching her. And as time goes by, things just keep getting weirder. The island birds call her name. The white flowers are changing to a blood red. Addie is having vivid nightmares, and a little girl no one else seems to see is wanting to play hide and seek with her. While Addie should probably leave the island immediately, she wants to stay. Addie wants to stay because she's drawn to the mysterious boy she met on the beach who keeps telling her the island loves her. But that love comes at a price as Addie learns two other girls have died on that island centuries before. So let's go ahead and get into the seven things that I liked about the depths. And of course, in this middle, we're going to be talking about the things I didn't like about it. The first thing I liked about the depths was the fact that it was a haunted island. While not exactly an original idea, Nicole Lesperance is not the first person to kind of have an island be unsettling you know, think Lost, which I believe the author has said that Lost did inspire her for this book, as well as other TV shows, movies, and books. I still thought it was a cool idea. I love the fact that it was a haunted island instead of the usual haunted house. It was very well executed. Nicola Spirits did do a great job of bringing this haunted island into our imaginations and we'll be talking more about that as we continue on with this book review. The second thing that I liked about The Depths by Nicole Lesperance is friendship. And specifically I liked that there was a friendship between a female character and a male character that was not romance based. Yes, one of them did have feelings for the other that was beyond friendship, but it was a crush that happens in real life and people get over it. And Nicola Spirits also didn't make it a big deal in the sense of the friendship wasn't ruined because one of them had a crush on the other and it was not reciprocated. There was a slight tantrum at one point, but it was due to a misunderstanding. So it wasn't 
this thing of like we can't be friends because you like me and I don't like you. I also like the fact that Nicola Spirits also included kind of the comments that come with that territory which I think are unnecessary but especially parents making assumptions and saying things like oh young love and I'm like no they're not in love like they're friends that is allowed a boy and a girl or any gender can be friends with each other without anyone having to comment about romantic feelings or not what if you're assuming the child's identity or sexual orientation like leave it alone just because people are friends does not mean that they're automatically romantically interested in each other you could be platonic friends so yes i do like the fact that the depths did show a friendship between someone who identified male and someone who identified as female and they were both of heterosexual orientation as far as we know and they were not romantically involved and it was okay. Number three that I liked in the depths is the description. So Nicole Esperance has also said that she has gotten a lot of inspiration from gothic novels, hence why she wrote a very gothic inspired novel herself. The author has said that she's gotten a lot of inspiration from Rebecca, Jane Eyre, and Wuthering Heights. And if you guys are familiar with those books, which I know a lot of us are, but a lot of people, it's not their cup of tea, which is totally fine. But I have read all of them and I can tell you they are very descriptive heavy, extremely. Like Jane Eyre, dear God, you could go pages, pages of just description. You know, not, not okay, we're not, not bad as Tolkien, like Tolkien, Tolkien's a whole different monster on description. but know that Jane Eyre, Wuthering Heights, and Rebecca are all heavy on description and it is supposed to be for setting and for the emotional context of feeling unsettled if that makes sense. Really happy to say that The Depths was a good compromise in the sense that there is very good description like there was a few sentences that I felt like I was on the island. I, I could feel what the character was feeling. I could see what they were seeing, but it wasn't overly done. I know a lot of people who don't enjoy the old gothic novels like Rebecca, Jane Eyre, or Wuthering Heights simply because the description is so heavy. For some people, it's, it's too boring and that is absolutely fair and I understand that. So I think The Depths does a good job of pulling from those, pulling from that inspiration, making sure that there are descriptions, especially again to set the mood, but it's not so heavy to the point where it pulls away from the story. So it was really well done. It was a, again, like I said, it was a good compromise of including that aspect of the gothic novel with those scenery and setting descriptions that set the undertone of something being not quite right but you're not going on for for paragraphs at a time with description it was a good balance of description as well as action and dialogue number four is going to be leading us right into the one negative i have about the depths fourth thing that i think was really well done in the depths but was also a huge irritant for me is that the author nailed teenagers so freaking well. And I say that with attitude because teenagers can be very grating. It was impressive that Nicole Esperance really, really, really channeled a teenage girl. The obsession, the one track mind of this is my life. If I can't do this, my life is over that very much teenage, just like short term, they cannot think long term. The, this is in general, I do always know that there are exceptions. There are fantastic teenagers and I'm not saying teenagers suck. They're not fully developed mentally, which is true. And because of that, there are things that they do and think and say that are just obnoxious and I kind of want to shake some of them, especially when they get into this mode of 
if I can't have this, if I can't do this, my life is over. Your life is not over, I promise you. Ultimately, that is my number four. I think Nicola Spirans really, really, really portrayed a teenage girl and, and boy very well, extremely well, better than I've seen in a lot of young adult books. You know, some young adult books I read and I forget that they're teenagers just because they're acting more like, you know, maybe not necessarily full, full grown adults, but young adults, you know, so somewhere around the age of like 20 to 25. The Depths did a really great job of portraying an actual teenager, how they would act in a lot of situations, but that also is my negative of this book that there were times where I wanted to close it just because I hated how the main character was thinking and again it's because she's supposed to be a teenager so she does have this very much one track mind very much this woe is me my life is terrible and one aspect I really didn't like but again it's very much teenager and please remember that this is not true for everyone. It is a stereotype, but it does seem to be one that is pretty true, especially with teenagers. Teenagers get used to the one parent that they have and they don't want that parent to have their attention drawn by someone else. And that is Addie's hatred for her stepfather. And I shouldn't say hatred. She just, you know, she's kind of annoyed. She kind of doesn't like him. It's just like, oh, he's going to probably try to ruin my life or tell me what to do and tell me what I can't do and blah, 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 blah. And the poor man has done nothing. The only thing I'll say that I didn't like that he did was, you know, imply that she had a romance with one of the other characters when they were just friends. And I hate that when anyone does that. I will say again that Nicole Lesperance, I think, did a great job of writing teenagers really delving into how they think, how they feel a lot of times. But because of that is also very grating for me because I generally don't like it when they think that way. Getting back into the positives again, number five is actually the characters. So yes, while I hated the teenage drama and angst, I did have a soft spot for more than one character. Even with our main character, Addie, there were things that I did enjoy about her. I did like her very courageous attitude. She has learned to deal with her fear and anxiety about multiple situations. I also identified with some of her very perfectionist attitudes. Perfectionism, of course, is not a healthy thing, but it's always nice to come across characters who I'm just like, oh yeah, I feel that. One of my most beloved characters, Billy. So Billy is a side character who I absolutely adore. Like this kid is just incredibly helpful and kind to everyone. He is super funny and has a wicked sense of humor. To give you just a little idea of how cool this kid is, this kid willingly did something that he knew would get him in super big trouble with his parents, and he did it specifically for a friend. Definitely, if I was back in high school, I would be the best of friends with this kid because he is awesome. My sixth favorite thing that I liked about the depths is the mystery aspect. It's always a great book when you're constantly trying to find out what happened and that's what keeps you reading when you're just like oh my god I need to know what happens like, I need confirmation about whether my guesses are right or am I completely wrong what's what's going on what's driving x y and z in the background a lot of the time when I was reading this book my brain was constantly trying to figure out what happened and I didn't fully guess it which is a big deal for me too because a lot of times I'm proud when I figure out a mystery in a book or the plot of the book and I'm able to tie things together before it's revealed in the book and that and that's absolutely fine. A lot of books are written that way so that the reader can start connecting dots but it's also fun where I connect dots and it's not perfect. It's not exactly what I thought it was because then it surprises me a little bit. And that's one thing I really appreciate that about the depths is that not only was I intrigued, I felt like the mystery was revealed 
very slowly and in pieces and it was well done in the sense that I didn't guess everything and I did appreciate that. So the last thing that I liked about The Depths is the fact that it was very spooky or I guess the better term is unsettling. So I found this book to be unsettling for sure but it was like horror light you know again it's young adults. And so I can say that thankfully this book didn't keep me up at night because I do not like being scared to the point where I feel like I'm going to have nightmares or replay like really bad violent images in my head. I currently had to stop watching the Dahmer show on Netflix simply because of the very violent gory images. So I really don't like it when books are really gory or violent just because highly sensitive person, my brain gets stuck and just replays, replays, replays. Does not do well for my sleep, let me tell you. I appreciate The Depths for being a book that I enjoyed reading. It was unsettling and therefore a little spooky, but I could sleep at night. I didn't, I didn't feel like I was in any danger. And it could be that I'm not on a haunted island. I don't live on an island and the place I'm currently living in, I've been here for a while now and there's no hauntings here so I am safe. The Depths is well written in the sense of it is a horror book and you can tell that again going with those gothic descriptions I think Nicole Lesperance did a great job of bringing in that unsettling feeling of just something's wrong something's like making your skin crawl but it's not this huge violent slasher horror which I appreciate very, very much. So that is it for my book review of The Depths by Nicole Lesperance. Again, I gave this book a seven out of 10 stars. I enjoyed it. I hope you do as well. Please let me know if you end up getting this book and what your thoughts are on it. I would always like to know that. You can also leave a comment if there's anything else that you would like me to tell you about the book and I'm more than happy to reply back to you again as long as it doesn't spoil the book for anyone else. If you're not subscribed to my channel I hope you will join us next time for my next book review or book recap. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys check out The Depths by Nicola Spirance and let me know your thoughts.